Hey everyone, it's Mario. Thanks for joining me. I was going to make fish for lunch today, but I realized I made it every which way except for plain, just some salt and pepper on it. So that's what I'm going to do today. So stick around and let's see how it turns out. So once again today I have my cod loin from BJ's and this is what we're going to cook. I'm going to rinse and pat this dry and then we'll get started. Okay, got my two pieces of fish. I'm just going to put a little bit of oil on both of them. Not much, don't need much. For seasoning, I'm just going to use my pink Himalayan salt and my peppercorn pepper. Okay, pepper, salt. Okay, let's go on to the next step. So I decided I'm going to use my Chef Tony grilling plate and uh, I want to protect the bottom of my pan, so I'm just going to use one of these silicone Alley, A-L-L-E-Y, on the bottom so I don't scratch it up. And we'll just pop this in there. I'm going to preheat it at 400, but I won't be cooking the fish at that temperature. Okay, let's add five minutes to heat up. Okay, let's get that fish on there. Should hear a little sear. Oh yeah, more than a little. Let's get that in. We're going to do 380 for a total of 12 minutes, but we'll check it in between. Since I don't have any batter or crumbs, it's probably going to cook a little bit faster, but we'll see. Now, I may catch some flack on this. I do not like lemon. Uh, lemonade a little bit, but uh, I'm just, instead of putting lemon on top of it, I'm going to do a little butter, and I'm just going to heat that up in the microwave. And let's get that in there. I'm going to do this on a low cook power, maybe a two. I'm going to do it for 60 seconds and see how it looks. Okay. And that's melting up pretty good. This time I'm going to do it for two minutes. And that should be more than enough. And that looks pretty good right there. Let's get this out of the way for now. Okay, we've gone six minutes. Let's take a look. All right, we're looking good there. Let's see if I can't flip this over without causing any damage. Some damage. Oh yeah, should have used a spatula. Normally I do it directly on parchment paper and I would just uh, pull the parchment paper out by the ends and flip it. And uh, oh well, as you can see right there. It's now several pieces. Let's throw this back in. Okay, let's take this out of here. And that looks done. Let's pull that out. And pieces I made add. There we go. Broken up, but it still looks delicious. I'm now going to put uh, my butter on there. May have melted a little too much, I think. Using my newbie uh, brush, baster brush, I guess. Came with these newbie rings that I use for making eggs and pancakes. You can check out a link in the description if you want for that. And I think I got enough butter on there. Okay, let's give it a test. Cheers. pretty good yep that's very good and hot so I love the fish breaded battered Kentucky kernel season flour but like this is pretty good too and it's a little better for you this way um, so now I'm more than happy to add this into my rotation anyway uh, if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing please consider sharing this video and I'll see you on the next one thanks a lot
think I'm gonna make a baked potato too now. Gotta have something, right, with it. <laughs> 